Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today is the bonus episode of the story mode. We'll be checking out the secret final level, among other things that we missed on our main playthrough of the story mode. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Agent 3, Agent 3. I'm so glad you're okay. I mean, I knew you would be. Nicely done. We saw it all, the daring, the bravery, the incredible skills. Who knew Small Fry could do all that? And you were there too. Yeah, Agent 3, basically saved the planet. Does anyone other than us even realize that? Being a hero, well, it's a real trip, a voyage, if you will, some kind of tour where you go places. Oh yeah. Uh, well said, Gramps. Oh, the captain was full of praise for you too. There was a heartfelt nod of approval. You're here. Well, until next time, stay fresh. So now that we're back in alternate and we've talked to the new Squid Beak Splatoon, there is one thing I do wanna mention, and that is that we could replay through every level that has a different weapon option. Now, I'm going to actually save that for its own episode because it will take us quite a while, but in its own episode, we'll replay a bunch of story mode levels with the other weapon options, just to say that we've gotten that completed. Now, if we take a look at the map of Alterna, you can see all the sites we've explored. And if we clear out all the little gray areas, we actually get a little surveyed marker. And it's important that we actually go do that. So I've already got it done for site number five, where you can see it is marked as surveyed. Let's do that for the rest of them. Okay, so with all that surveyed, now we can go talk to Marie and get a reward. You really scoped this place out thoroughly. Here, Agent One and I made this map based on your work. You got a sticker, you can pick it up at the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your locker. So there we go, the completed map, sticker, very nice. And okay, we're gonna get it for each area. That's awesome, actually. So yeah, each area gets its own sticker. I wanna get it all put together, feels quite complete. Behind the new Squid Beak Splatoon, we can actually check out the little Zapfish plushie, which will teleport us back to the tutorial area of the crater. In the crater, there wasn't too much more I wanted to showcase, but we did see this before. It is the notepad where Captain Cuttlefish doodled the captain. What you could actually do here is change the appearance of the captain by editing the doodle. So if you wanted to make it match whatever version of the captain you played in previous Splatoon Adventures, now you can do that. And if we go back behind the bundle crates, you can see that we can relive our memories and go back to the final boss against Mr. Grizz. And that'll be a pretty important thing to do because there's actually something super interesting I wanna show you guys. When you're fighting Mr. Grizz during the final boss fight, when you're teaming up with DJ Octavio, if you just let the timer run out, a whole different ending plays. Oh no, it's sticking down the last second. What's gonna happen? Spotsville, we failed you! Oh no. Whoa! Everything's just co getting covered in the... Oh no! All the inklings! They're getting all fuzzy! On that day, a massive fuzzball was born in space. That's sort of scary, I don't like it. So that's what happens if you fail during the boss fight. Okay, so way back this way for completing every single level in the game, we have the bonus level of after Alterna. Reach the goal to gain access to the plank log. What is that about? It costs 333 eggs to even try this one. What is with the repeating three? It took us three minutes and 33 seconds to, or that was the required time for defeating the final boss. So this is interesting. Oh, there's nothing by Orca. Gotta use our hero gear here. This is spooky. So the final eternal log, I can only imagine. Let's get this thing started. Whoa, whoa, watch your st step. <laughs> you mean like that? All right, let's try that again. So that's one life down, probably not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over. Just try to be as careful as I can because I've already lost one life. You can only lose so many of this before I try the whole thing again. I mean, luckily we have plenty of power eggs and I don't think much other way to spend them, so it's fine. Got it? And what about up here? Whoa, keep watching your step, I guess. Yeah, these platforms are spinning. There's not really too much of them either, so pretty intense. Can get rid of you real fast, so. And it looks like we'll get a lot of power eggs for all this, though. So. Come on, come on. Oh no, now, these guys are gonna be a problem. Let's toss our little buddy. 
Come on, I made it, awesome. There we go. So this one's really gonna put us to the test, I'm sure. So we'll have to pull out all the stops to survive this stuff. Okay, here we go, gotcha. And then these two, yeah, no problem. And then I'm gonna charge up, let it rip. That was pretty good. Whoa, oh no, not good. <laughs> we're fine though, we're fine. And then, oh no. Okay, that didn't hit me, but that'll hit you. Uh, there's another squid surge here. Just check the area above it. Okay, so yeah, what we do is we boost. I, I sort of, oh no, oh no. Gotta be careful of that. Much better, much better. Oh no, oh no. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted, but it worked out, sort of. Yeah, let's do this, and then, got it, got it. Oh no. Much better. Oh, I want that. I want it, I want it. Oh no. Okay, we'll just, we'll just keep going, another rotation. Sounds good to me. And then up this way. Whoa, that was close. And I, yeah, I know you guys are waiting for me. I saw your ink. Oh no, but we got an Octo Sniper too. There we go. Making some cool moves that we need to make the most out of our arsenal here. Go, go, go. All right. And then somehow across to this, you can ink the bottom half of this pillar. I don't know how I, okay, I thought you meant the underside of it, not the bottom half. There we go. Hmm. Just trying to avoid all those shots as much as I can. I probably should have used our little buddy, because that was definitely painful. We could squid roll towards the platform there. Yep, that's, that's what we did. So we can do that here too. So they're trying to show us some more advanced movements here, which is nice. We can get across like that and then land on this thing. Ha, ah, now you're just showing off. Maybe, maybe. This is a very fun level so far though, I like it. And what do we do with all this? Oh, I gotta stay on this thing. Oh no. Um, well, they'll have no clue though. If I want to, I can slam. Boom, that was so cool. Awesome. So, we'll make the most of all that and hop onto this pillar. And where's it gonna go? Ooh, it's gonna turn down this way. I'm a little scared that I may have not done this correctly. Oh no, no, we're fine, we're fine. Cause I can switch over to this one. Then we need to fall at just the right time. Maybe right about now. We got it, we got it, perfect. Way to fall, thank you. Okay, get rid of all these guys, go, go, go! Ooh, that was a close one. And now we gotta, oh gosh, jump up to here. Whoa! Oh man, they still got me, but could have been worse, could have been worse. This is intense so far. Oh, big jump through this one. It sort of spits us out the other side. Come on, come on, come on, whoa! Almost there, almost there. Already got to jump, splat them, and then keep it going. Yes, nicely done. Thank you, thank you. And then, all right, I'll just, I'll just sh shoot, shoot at those so that we can get them. Oh no, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. Uh, no, oh, that was a foolish move. There's gotta be a better way to do that one then. Oh no, I'm way back here. We only get one try. I didn't even realize. That is rough. Okay, so here I am again. Took me a good couple of tries to actually get back out here. What I might wanna do is yeah, switch to the splat bomb or something so that I can splat over to that stuff really quickly because making this ju these jumps is proving to be really tough. Okay, uh, come on, come on, I need to do that, but I just, I feel like I'm not catching up at all. Oh no, um, oh gosh, this is just so stressful. Okay, got it, because this, move so fast, but the most stressful thing is that if you don't do well and you fall to your doom, you gotta do the whole thing over. Oh wow, okay, so it is repeating, so that actually makes it much easier. I didn't realize it was gonna do that. So that gives us a path we could just sort of get through, and I might just wanna say forget it to the uh, to the power eggs there. I think it's much smarter at the moment. Oh no, go, 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 there we go. Oh my gosh, she made it. Let's see where that launch pad takes you. Hopefully somewhere good. Whew. That was tough. Okay, did we get a checkpoint? Oh, thank goodness, I think. All right, reach a goal to gain access to the log. Keep it rolling. Oh no, so we gotta splat some of these things, which before has proven to be quite difficult for us. There we go, ready, boom, 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 got it. As soon as they pop up, we need to get rid of them. All right, ready? No problem, jumping, jumping. Wait, no way, no way, oh, I don't know what happened there. I tried to fire, but it just didn't happen soon enough. Okay, luckily we're back here, but the problem is, I just don't have many 
uh, many lives. This is sort of my last try, yeah? So I gotta be careful, gotta be super aware. So I don't know if I'll restart here at the beginning. I'm pretty sure I'll start here again, I hope, but you can never be too sure, right? Okay, not gonna let that happen this time, that's for sure. Got it, jump in, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, why? I held left and jumped. Why did that happen? All right, I get to retry from the checkpoint, but that was sort of ridiculous. One thing that makes it difficult is you can jump between the rails very quickly. Even when I was really trying there just to do it quickly, it just doesn't really let you. Okay, I need to jump over to that one. There we go. The camera also getting turned around isn't the best, but uh, I'm just gonna jump across like this. There we go. Set the camera a little bit, but show off to reset it again in a moment. Okay, where am I going here? I need to hop down and then jump to the left, pop these ones, and then soon enough, I need to jump to the right and then jump again. There we go. Oh man, uh, I missed out on the, the one poop. Not a big deal. I need to refill an ink, yeah. Okay, so, oh, we gotta be quick about this, so, wow. Uh, whoa, this is so much. This is so very much. I'm almost out of ink again. Come on, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Whoa, got him. There we go, not too bad. I, I filled up on ink again, that's good. Trying to make the most of that. Oh no. I'm so nervous. Is this gonna be the end of it? I sure hope so. Uh oh. Uh, whoa, I gotta be fast, gotta be fast, gotta be fast. Oh man, that was close. Phew, that was so intense, you're telling me. Yeah, great job, you're not done yet, but keep it up. Okay, so there is the second phase done, and what is definitely a really tough level. Okay, what are we doing now? Whoa, all right, goal. We gave that, or we gotta reach the goal, of course. Uh, so we got soaker box. No! Oh. Uh yeah, I didn't really think about that. <laughs> okay, try that again. I lost the life, but not the end of the world. Uh so yeah, I need to toss this over. I know they're gonna fight us on it, but we can just maybe get rid of you. There we go, there we go. Oh, that was close actually. Alright then, let's call our little buddy back. Because it looks like we might need them here. I can reach it too, but oh no. Uh, well, that stinks. This is not going very well. Okay, come on, one more time. Let's just try to be aware of that, and luckily we have plenty of power eggs, so we do get to retry this as many times as we need to. Uh, got it. I'll do that, and I, okay, I was gonna say, I jumped, I pressed the jump button. I don't know why that happens a lot in this game. There we go. Oh yeah, okay, I can see what I could do here. I'm not gonna worry about it. We stand to lose more power eggs than we, we'd gain. Here we go, yo, let's toss that there so we can finish you off and you're not causing problems for us anymore. But what do we do with that? Uh, oh, maybe we get our buddy to... Oh, yeah, I see, I see. So that was good. We just gotta get over there really quickly. And same thing there. I think we can make it in time. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, oh, do that. There we go, there we go. Oh, that was scary. I was just trying to figure out what we do. All right, good good stuff, good job. We're gonna bring you back. I spy an Octa Commander, be careful up ahead. I will try to be. We're gonna toss that over, and then we gotta go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Get rid of you. Get rid of these two as well. Oh, we still have so much more to go, don't we? Oh, no. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. We gotta break that up, and then make this jump. Oh, man, that was scary. Uh, now I gotta work on this one a little bit. Gotcha, so to get through this, I think I need to do that. There we go, we made it. Wow, is there anything back there? I guess not. That was definitely nerve wracking. Where are we going now? Uh, I don't know. There's nothing, oh, uh, oh, okay. See, let's try that out. If that's gonna do something. Huge chain reaction and sends them flying over. Where to exactly though? I guess right down there. So we gotta be quick about this. Oh no, they're gonna be retracting on us too. Uh, come on, come on, got it, got it. Oh no. Uh, wait, oh, they actually splatted me with that. Jeez, that was a lot of stuff. Oh no. 
So I'm trying to be really careful this time because as you can see, these guys send out so much ink that I really just don't want to mess with that if I don't have to. But man, there's a lot of them. There's a whole bunch. Whoa, I just barely dodged that in time. Come on, come on, gotcha. So now that I'm here, where do I go? Uh, I guess that way. I didn't even see all that, but here it is. Um, so I gotta go up fast. Yeah, let's see this. Whoa, that was good, that was good. Big jump, and we made it. So there is a checkpoint finally, oh my goodness. But there is still so very much more to do. So we're gonna hit that thing up a little bit. And what's the deal with all of this? Okay, that's gonna block them from coming over, which is nice, because then I can focus on this entirely. Yeah, launch up here and then just jump over. It seems pretty good to me. And I still have my special if I really, really need it, but I'd like to save that for later if possible. Okay, so what's the deal with this one? That is another blockage kind of deal. Um, but I guess I jumped to, no. We really? I tried the jump. I don't know. I swear there's something broken about the jump button in this game. Because I'll jump, but it just it doesn't jump, and I go straight up the side. Ugh. So there is stuff there if I wanted to make a crazy jump. But I don't think I need to. I could just stay on top of this thing. And then I guess I what do I do here? Um, not that. I'm a little confused on what I do there. Um, oh, I'm supposed to ride them. Okay, that is so bizarre. Um, I, I get it now though. I get it. I gotta jump over to this thing, and then just keep hitting this until those retract enough that I can just ride it. And I think, yeah, that's what I have to do. That is something else, isn't it? Okay, then I gotta jump up here. Got that. Uh, all aboard the Octomissile commuter train. <laughs> there we go. And what's the deal with this? It looks like, once again, they're smacking the wall here. I guess I don't want that, though, once again. Huh, oh, I see, yeah, so we don't want to, the problem is before it was even, um, the other ink was blocking it too, so. Interesting way to set up the obstacle. I like it. We're just gonna wait right here for now. We're not gonna worry about too much more, and hopefully we can, uh, yeah, get, oh wow, okay. Yeah, do that, and then I just hope it goes away in time. It might not, uh, yeah, I've made a foolish mistake somehow. I, I'm really confused by that one. I think I just needed to change it to my color, then wait on top of it until we're through it. it. It's so hard to tell. This is really tough. Okay, so I'm on top of here for now, and I just need to wait for this to retract. That might take some time, so we're just sort of chilling out in the meantime. But eventually, as you can see, all those doors are gonna retract, and I think even from here, no wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, I now jump. There we go, we made it, we made it. Oh my gosh, that took a while, very stressful. But hey, we're getting somewhere, right? Uh, what will this do? Uh, I guess some good stuff, and then I need to, no, wait, okay, I made it, I made it, oh my gosh. Okay, time to move. That was, that was I just had to deal with all that at once. Uh, hey, you can finally see the last stop so close, I sure hope so. Um, it looks like I'll need to, Toss a little buddy over and hope that I can make this jump or something. I wasn't supposed to do it that way. I guess I could have kept going. I was I was panicking for an obvious reason. I didn't know what was next. Okay, that really sinks because we were right at the end, but I guess now I know what to do. Okay, I think I just gotta jump for it and hope for the best. That seemed to have worked. All right, go, go, go. Getting a launch shot. And I guess I would have went all the way back there too. It doesn't matter. Phew, finally commuting is stressful. Nice work, let's move on. Yeah, let's get out of this one. Don't wanna know that ever again. Let's see what's next. Is there going to be more? Oh, there is, all right. Ooh, this looks like it could be a big battle. Reach the goal, I see it out there. Oh man, is that the goal back there? Like way back there? I think so. Uh-oh, enemies incoming. Oh yeah, here they are. So I might wanna actually yeah, send small fry out in some spots. No, I want small fry. There we go. Uh, okay, they are coming over. And I gotta make sure I just don't get spotted here, right? Uh, easier said than done at this rate. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. We got more people running around this side. I jumped right over you. Not what I wanted. This feels like I'm actually battling real players. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Ooh. Let's throw small fry over. Because that's gotta serve as some kind of distraction, right? Oh, there they are. They don't seem to see me. All right, will they focus on small fry there? They sort of do. There we go. So there's one of them. Was that all of them? I think that was all of them. 
I think so. Did we really make it? Uh, a canned special, yes. Oh no, Um, now what? What was that? There are more of them? Oh no, you don't. Oh, good splat there though. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. I'm not ready for you. Oh, I thought I'd have more time with that, darn. There is another special right over that way, but I think for right now, I gotta be careful, because yeah, I was out of armor there. They are just patrolling around. I'm gonna do that for now, and then sneak up on you, and then same thing to your friend. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Um, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move right now. All right, not too bad. I know they were just right around here. Okay, how did that, not what I wanted at all, but it's okay. Um, that's also not what I wanted, but you know what? We can just use this one. Um, every time you grab a can, the next one appears on the other side. So I guess I'm supposed to use them <laughs> better than that. That was the last of them, right? I sure hope so. This time, ooh, we we'll get the, uh, whatever this is called. Come on, even more of them? Okay, I see a couple of them. I think we will, whoa, explode. There we go, we got one of them. Gonna jump over that, that's for sure. Oh no, oh no, there's one behind me. They're using all their specials on me. This is ridiculous, that is ridiculous. There's so many of them. Okay, so I'm trying to squish these guys. So far, actually not too bad. Um, I think there was another one over here. Oh, I'm all out of it though. So we'll see how things go. If things don't work out here, I'm gonna have to cough up some more power eggs, but I guess not the end of the world. Oh, I see you up here, or down there. And I got you before you could get me, that was great. Of course, there's still gonna be many more, but I need to get over here as soon as possible so that we can set this up. There we go. I see a couple of them over there, but I'm trying to save most of my stuff for when I'm in a proper bind. But I just, I do see these guys over here, so I might as well. Ooh, that was pretty good. Gonna grab that stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Here we go. You're in trouble now. I hope. Well, they're sending stuff at me too, though. So, come on, come on, come on. I need to land there. The Octo Brush is such a problem. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. How in the world do you survive all of that? That is insane. Okay, so I'm trying to take things really slow this time and see how that works for me. Because I feel like when I go out there and I try to fight, I just get bombarded in a way that is just too crowded to actually combat. If I can take them on one at a time, that works out way better, like that. So I'm gonna toss out something like that and get rid of one of them at the least, that was great. Oh no you don't, okay the tendon missiles are coming in. So if I can get rid of you and then just run, there we go, that was perfect. There is more coming out from every which direction. I'm trying to deal with whatever I can. Um, I see you, I can get your front pole. Only three more, only three more. There's one more down. Um, come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare, don't you dare. All right, I'm over this way now. I need more ink really badly. Oh my gosh, okay, run, 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 run. My shield finally broke, I've been very careful with my armor. Um, I do want that. And then if I could, just find you. You're the last one, right? Come on, there we go, one last soul to finish him off. Amazing, Agent 3, you really showed them. Oh my goodness. That was tough, that took quite a lot of tries. We're gonna hop up here. Seriously, you were so fresh out there, congrats. All right, we did it! I can't believe it! The final mission is complete after Alterna, and we get a bunch as a reward. I don't know if that even makes up for how many I had to pay, but I'm glad it's done. Okay, so now we finally made it out. What do we get as a reward? I mean, a bunch of power eggs, of course, but we got a new title. The Alternan and World Champ. You can pick these in the lobby, term terminal, lobby terminal. <laughs> and we get the Teddy Band. Oh, very cool. So it looks like we'll have to check out that at some point. Very cool little gear there. So there we go, Future Utopia Island. We're back. And I think at that point, that means that we're just fully done the story mode. I don't think there's anything more to do. We got that bonus level done. We explored everything so it was properly surveyed, completed and upgraded all the, the uh, hero gear. We've checked out all the different sites. Um, I guess just one more thing we'll do in a different episode is complete all the levels with all the different weapons. But what about the Alterna logs? It looks like there is one last log. Return of the Mammalians. Recall, for a moment, the first apocalypse that devastated the human race. Those who escaped into the caverns of Alterna were not the sole survivors. There were others who escaped via a giant rocket ship, the Ark Polaris. 
Launched in the nick of time, this ship was laden with many of Earth's species that had been placed in a cold sleep. The mission was a simple find another planet to replace Earth. Consider the circumstances of its launch. The Polaris had a smooth voyage until reach, it reached the edge of the solar system. It was at the point that debris struck the vessel, damaging its navigation system. The crew was able to turn the ship around and head back toward Earth, but the effort was in vain. There was not enough fuel to attempt a landing. The Ark Polaris drifted aimlessly for 10,000 years. Eons passed. The once stable orbit of the Polaris decayed over time until the ship found itself in the inescapable pull of the Earth's gravity. Re-entry was not kind to its inhabitants. All perished, save one. Bear number 03, an experimental subject who had retained consciousness within his cold hibernation, survived. For 12,000 years he had dreamed and plotted. Fully awakened, Bear number 03 came to a terrible realization. He had not landed on a new planet at all. He was back on Earth, and yet it was not an Earth he knew. This Earth, it seemed, was dominated by sea creatures, not a single mammal to be found. In the course of his search for even a single fellow mammal, Bear number 03 used navigational equipment from the wreckage of the Ark Polaris to discover Alterna. It was a wasteland, of course, but was but a few of the liquid crystals that had once covered the walls and ceiling remained. With knowledge built during his thousands of years dreaming, he repaired some of Alterna's facilities and began researching the crystals. This research before bore fruit when Bear number 03 compounded some of the liquid crystals with his own fur. The experiment created an entirely new substance with one terrifying property. It could transform any living creature into a mammal. Bear number 03 realized the implications immediately. He could restore the planet to a mammalian paradise. He began stockpiling fuzzy ooze, as he called it, with Arterna's still intact rocket. So of course, we knew that Grizz was behind all that, but he was turning everybody into a mammal, and that was the whole goal, was to turn everything on the planet into a mammal. For such a venture, he would require the acquisition of thousands of golden eggs. These were used in the creation of the fuzzy ooze, although the exact details have never been recorded in my memory banks. But Bear number three had a plan. He founded a corporation that would go on to employ locals to collect his golden eggs under the name Grizzco Industries. Mr. Grizz, as he was now known, would pay handsomely for them. With fuzzy ooze production peaking thanks to the assistance of unsuspecting inklings and octolings, Mr. Grizz took the final steps to set his plan in motion. The rocket was loaded. It, would be it wouldn't be long now. That is crazy. So the motions of the Splatoon 3 story were set in place in Splatoon 2, even with Simon running back then. Very cool how everything ties together. And it looks like we do have one more thing to check out over this way. Activate Shell Drone. Oh, that? That's a shell drone. I bet you can guess who designed it. Sheldon, right? Anyway, he said that thing can help find hidden items, even here in Alterna. Well, he said a lot more than that, but you get the g gist. One of the, more one of the important things he said is that you need power eggs to operate it, so if you have extras, maybe give it a try. Yep, and it supposedly takes anything it finds directly back to the lobby, so check out the lobby terminal to pick them up. Once you pick up the item, the shell drone will return it here automatically. Fly free, little shell drone. Well, I might as well activate it. You know, 999 power eggs is a lot. You sure you want to use those to run the shell drone? It'll search Alterna for the goodies to bring back. I mean, I think I have found everything, but let's try this out. Woo, go little shell drone, do your thing. You can pick up whatever it finds at the lobby terminal. Maybe tomorrow-ish? I'd give it a little time. All right, see you little shell drone. And that's about everything I wanted to show when it comes to bonus stuff for the story mode, but since I don't really know where else to fit it, I did also want to showcase, of course, the physical editions of Splatoon 3. Here you can see the box, and of course the box art for Splatoon 3, and honestly it's one of my favorite boxes for one of the Splatoon games yet. As you can see in the back, we have different information about the different game modes, like the 4 on 4 team battles, we can explore alternate in the story mode, and join up with some friends and some salmon run. Inside the case is really interesting because we actually have reversible cover art. Beyond that, there's not too much, there's not a manual or anything, but we can flip that inside out and put it on the case. The front of it has some really cool salmon run art with a bunch of inklings in the front, but some of the more ominous salmonids in the background just ready for a fight. 
And on the back side, we have a portrait of the story mode characters. So we have, of course, Agent 3, Kelly and Marie, a bunch of the Scoot Beaks Platoon, and I think some of the masks that, of course, uh, Deep Cut would wear. So really cool stuff there. But that's not all. They also released an official Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This thing is awesome. As you can see, it has the blue and yellow custom colored handles, as well as a bunch of decals across the front of different splats and little Splatoon graffiti artwork. Taking it out of the box, it looks just as good as the picture on the front of it. And taking a closer look at those details, it really is nice. You can see that the plastic is actually sort of a bit translucent, so you can see almost underneath it. It even looks better in person. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> On the back side, you can see even more of it. It's interesting that they went to that level of detail, that you wouldn't really see the bottom side of the controller too much, but there's still artwork back there. This is definitely a fun addition to the collection, just having an official Splatoon 3 controller. But believe it or not, that is still not all, because they released a special edition Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED, and this thing is beautiful. So much details are packed into this, and the box is so cool. It sort of combines the box art with the pictures of the console itself, and it looks so cool. Nintendo hasn't done a ton of these custom consoles. I know they've done it for Animal Crossing and for uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but it's really cool to see that they're doing some more of them. On the back side, we get a collage of pictures showcasing the different elements of the Nintendo Switch OLED Splatoon 3 version, and as you can see, it is just covered in different Splatoon art. And here it is out of the box. It is hard to describe how wonderfully vibrant this is, especially those Joy-Cons. You have the purple to blue one, or I guess it's maybe purple to magenta, hard to say. And then on the right side, you have the yellow to green gradient. It looks so good. These are by far some of my favorite Joy-Cons I've ever seen. And the details on these are immaculate as well. We have all those different little Splatoon decals, graffiti, stickers, whatever you want to call them, all across both of the Joy-Cons. And it just, it, it just looks like Splatoon. It feels like Splatoon is such a cool little addition to have a console like this. And they didn't skip out on the details on this either. The backside is packed with so much more art. It's just crazy how much there is. I know I'm sort of repeating myself here, but it's just so cool to see. You can see the little inkling and octoling, little squids and all that kind of stuff. It looks amazing. They did a great job. And here it is in the dock, which is sort of the same and has all those decals and stuff, but it's more of a white color scheme with the big green splat on there, which I like a lot. <laughs> it's just so neat to see this thing. And it feels like an art piece as much as it is a game console. And that's really fun to have as sort of a collection piece, especially if you're into Splatoon. It would have been awesome to see something like this for Splatoon 2. All we got for Splatoon 2 was the custom Pro Controller, but this just goes above and beyond. And this was actually my first Nintendo Switch OLED, so really cool to get the whole collection. As you can see, we have the game, console, and controller. So for the most part, that is gonna wrap it up for our Splatoon 3 Story Mode adventure. Like I said, we'll have one more video coming up, going through all the levels again with whatever bonus weapons we can get done. That'll be a fun episode, but beyond that, from here on out, we are fully focused on the online play. There is still so much of this series to enjoy, so I hope you guys are excited for some of the upcoming episodes. Where we'll be playing online with Turf War, Ranked Mode, Splatfest, Sam Run, and so much more, I'm sure. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.